So, I prepared it to turn on. We have power, so uh, yeah. Let's not waste any more time and uh, test it. Just to be safe. Okay, now ready to test it. To test it. Oh, hell yeah. Still though, let me put this uh, camera here. Well, I have here a uh, USB stick with Windows 11, even though this PC it does not support Windows 11. So the first test, <laughs> what's this one? So the first test will be to see if we can install Windows 11. So let me plug this bad boy here. Hmm, I feel a weird smell. Maybe it's from the the wet wipes that I used, but just to be sure. No smoke, right? Okay, no smoke. That's good. Now, get this out of the way now. Restart and I have to quickly press, press F2 or delete to enter BIOS. Because it has the quick boot enabled, apparently. There we go. <laughs> so, boot sequence. Uh, actually, USB storage should be put top. Yeah. Right here. Uh, CD drive next. Legacy. Okay, apply. Now, does it know that? Oh, it does know the date and time. Okay. Enable, blah, blah, blah. Drivers. Mm hmm. Secure boot. I don't think we need this. Is disabled. Good. Performance. Multi-core support. Oh, well, it's only two cores and four threads. So, Intel speed step. Okay. Hyper thread control. Okay, yes. Power. Come on. What I do not have here, it's internet in this thing. Huh, cover was... <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens now. Oh, come on, it really started Windows. No, this is Windows 11. Also, there are uh, methods you can search on YouTube to bypass the checkup, you know? So that it doesn't matter what hardware you use. And also, another tutorial to create a local account, not use the internet. Not, not use a Microsoft account. So I'm gonna also let uh, post the methods that I find uh, down in the comment section. Keyboard. Yes. Well, what is it? Shift F10, was it? Yes. Reg edit. I know it's supposed to be a key local, local machine. System. Setup. So I need here to create a new, um, new key. I'll call it lab config and then we have config here new dword 32 bit value by pass secure boot check enter and let's set the value to one then a new dword 32 bit again by pass 
was it TPM TPM check also one and this should be that should be it now let's close this and this I don't have a product key so yeah just how to bypass uh, system check or something like that Windows 11 Pro next I'm not even going to do the internet on this I accept please wait I am please waiting let's see how much of the hard drive is used oh -ho. well I'm not keeping anything so delete partition whether you like it or not okay now we have all the hard drive to ourselves uh, how many gigabytes should I use you know what all of them since this is a testing PC we don't care 500 gigabytes well 465 gigabytes to install Windows on install baby install 5% I wonder how long will this take so let's start day uh, so <laughs> let's count how long does it take to install on a hard drive well no. I'll let this run on itself and I'll be right back skipping for you so I uh, <laughs> went outside for a bit and this is what I get uh, let's say one minute or two passed since I was in here and uh, it was at 52 percent hmm. so it's kind of annoying that this happened but it's not the first time it happened to me so Your computer may restart a few times. You yeah, don't say. I've also downloaded the drivers for uh, for it from its official web page. I hope I got the right one. Ap apparently, Optiplex 3010. It's three versions of them. This is the smaller one, the smallest actually. There's an there. Then there's a mid tower, then a full tower. Hmm. Please keep your computer on. Do I have a choice? Is the fan fanning? The fan is fanning. Hmm. 12 minutes until now. Actually, no, let me focus. Uh, you can see the time. 12 minutes and 24 seconds. Hmm. Well, it's not quite hot. It's in between. Yeah, it's just, it's warm. Uh, barely warm it has a good cooler although it doesn't have much to cool you know not exactly the most performant uh, PC this is not even the bare minimum mall in today's standards also when I went uh, PC hunting I also went phone hunting I have another channel with old phones and I'm also <laughs> testing these remember how fun phones were I'll uh, be back Oh boy, the struggles of hard drives. <laughs> oh? There we go. So, 22 minutes. My god, it's stuttering. <laughs> now I have to find how to Windows 11 bypass Microsoft account. Skip. F10. So we have the command. <coughs> oh, I typed it wrong. <laughs> so start space ms dash c x h uh, double dots. Or how do you call them in English? Local only there we have it username my mom next what's your name my mom <laughs> this might take a few minutes okay I understand the assignment 
So let's count again. Almost there. Let Microsoft use location. No. Accept. Find my device. No. Accept. Required only. Accept. No. Accept. No. Accept. No. Accept. Oh. Okay. Uh, the start, uh, the task bar is not uh, yet loaded. You have the start menu. Okay. Ah, never mind. Sorry. It's less than a minute. 47 seconds per total. Well, we successfully installed Windows in almost half an hour. Well, 20, let's say 23 minutes. So let's go. Task manager. Oh my god, it's so slow. Memory 50%. <laughs> it's only 4 gigabytes, so yeah. Hard drive 100% CPU. Change graph to logical. Well, yeah. 3 megabytes cache. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> huh, and I think doing this kind of check the Windows, I think it's activated. Right click, so personalize. Good. I'm not interested in activating this window since this PC will get an upgrade in the another video. Hey, Jaskin, why it's its purpose? We tell it is to install Firefox. I don't use Chrome, I use Firefox. Works just fine. Yeah, so slow. Properties, I need to check something. Device manager. I don't know what chipset it has. It should be Intel's what? Driver. <laughs> Device manager not responding. Well, yeah. Well, anyway, we don't need the store. Leave, we don't need Copilot. Chipset driver. Let's see if this one is the correct one. Run! Boy, run. Install. This is gonna take a while. I'm not gonna bore you with all the drivers installation and I'll be right back. Well, finished installing drivers. Also, I just realized apparently the DDR3 memory, it's 1600 megahertz already. Hmm. I've read that it'll accept 8 gigabytes of RAM, but I bet it will accept 16. So I'll have to get some 16 gigabytes RAMs. Device manager. Okay, everything looks installed. Search for drivers. Yeah, everything installed. Display adapters, Intel HD graphics 4000. <laughs> yeah, oh, a lot of human interface devices. Processors, yeah, dual core, of course. Right, Windows installed. Now, I will have eventually to connect it to the internet so I can see how many tabs it will accept until it completely dies, but I'll have to move it to my other room. Oh, the sound works. So we managed to install Windows 11 on this 13-year-old uh, fossil. Well, not fossil, but old enough, you know. Is it warm now? Hmm. Yeah, it's just warm. Not hot. On the back. <laughs> the air is not even warm. Good cooling. Well, not too much to do here. What I can do... I'm curious, like it is right now. Memory 60%, CPU 15. Now I don't want to give it a restart. <laughs> well, these are not installed, that's why it. Power restart. Because you know, I still install some drivers and uh, it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's see how long it takes to restart. Because usually restarting it means. Uh, it boots everything from the beginning, while if I uh, shut it down, it should pause everything and start it faster. Still not loaded. Oh, the taskbar loaded faster. Okay. Right click pressed, actually I can stop this. So one minute and 40 seconds. 
right click and the menu doesn't appear yet, there we go. I have set the Intel the graphics for performance instead of high quality. Let's see the task, bar, task manager again. Mm -hmm. Okay, the memory is not so used up now. Okay, it's actually better. Now that all the drivers are installed, it should be more stable. Well, now that I'm doing this. So now let's check like this. Power shut down this time. How long does it take to does it take to shut down? Let's add four seconds extra. Well, let's say uh, sixteen seconds. It took to shut down. Now let's see how much time does it take to boot up and start. Well, the hang. See what I told you, when you shut it down, it pauses everything and it doesn't completely turn off. When you restart it, that's when it reloads everything. It took 1 minute and 40 seconds last time. Let's see how we do doing now. I'm tired boss, come on. Show me the test bar, boy. 1 minute and 7 seconds. Basically, it's still loading, so I kind of cheated. I, I right-clicked, and there you go. So it's, uh, let's say, 30 seconds faster. Either way, it's very slow. But I'll try to fix this. I'll turn it off and continue tomorrow. I have to look for some old games. I don't expect Doom 3 to work. But I expect at least Halo 2. Halo 1... Certainly it has to work, but Halo 2, eh. No, no way, not Halo. Actually, yeah, Halo as well, but uh, Half-Life is what I meant. Half-Life 1 most certainly works, but Half-Life 2, I'm not sure. We'll find out. Stay tuned. Thank you, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this information useful and not useless, because I'm pretty sure none of you are still using this PC. If you are, good luck. However, we'll do some upgrades after that.